Hey, this is John Siskovich, and I want to share with you three things that are going to help you find a farming model that works for you. So I'm here on the edge of my hop yard with my sheep. Uh, two different operations on our farm. We have a number of different things going on here. And it's been a journey and the journey continues on finding a farming model that works specifically for my situation. Uh, that'll change year to year, I'm sure, but there's three things that I've taken into account when I'm looking for, you know, looking to get into a new enterprise, looking to shut down one that might not be working. So I wanna share those three things with you right now. The first is your passion. Uh, your farming's hard work, and without the passion for it, without the love for what you're growing, there's no way you're gonna make it, because if you don't like going to work, then you're not gonna work as hard as it takes to have a successful farm. Uh, I love sheep, I love hops, uh, I like growing the ingredients for beer, so it really works out for me, just you know, two of the ones that are behind me. So figure out what your passions are, write them down on a piece of paper, share them with everybody. Now, you mean, if it's a passion that you already have, you probably talk about it all the time anyways, but grow something you love. So the second one is market demand. Uh, you know, it kind of plays off the first one, where you can love to grow something, but if nobody wants to buy it and you can't sell it and you can't make a business and you won't have a viable farm and you'll have to shut down and you know can't pay your bills. It's just a terrible situation. So finding a marriage of something you love to do and a whole you know a need in the market for you know what exactly you're producing super important. Uh, craft beer is really hot right now and people love to eat lamb and mutton sausage, so that works for you know what's behind me. So that third and final piece is figuring out what exactly your resource base is. So now that you know you have your passion, you know there's a need in the market, what do you have at your disposal? And that's people, that's land, uh, that's money, you know, whatever it is that gives you an unfair advantage, figure out what your resource base is to make that passion and fill that need make that all come true. Uh, that is a very complex, very long process. You know, there's, there's many steps as we go along here. But uh, you know, it's just three, three kind of overview things that help me as I'm growing my farm. Now, because it's only a short video, I created an entire podcast episode where I had a guest on. He was uh, an interviewee of mine, Forrest Pritchard. He's the author of Gaining Ground. If you go to farmmarketingsolutions.com, forward slash 60, 60, farmmarketingsolutions.com forward slash 60. You'll hear that entire podcast episode. And uh, Forrest and I talk over a half an hour in that interview about it. I talk more before the interview about finding a different model that works for you. Uh, it's a pretty awesome podcast episode. Uh, head on over, check it out. And uh, you know, Forrest even talks about how he tried to start a food truck and decided against that. Uh, it's a pretty good story. So that's it. Uh, hope it's a lovely day and it's a little bit warmer wherever you are and whenever you're watching this video. And until next time, I'll see you out in the fields.